as discussed, many of the words in English are derived from Greek or Latin roots. Let's take a look at one example of this. The root loqui, a log, refers to the concept of talking or speech. Loquacious. Loquacious has the roots loqui, to talk, and ous, meaning to have the quality or to be filled with a particular quality. In this case, someone who is loquacious uh, is filled with the quality of talking. Therefore, loquacious means talkative, to talk a lot. Eloquent. When someone is eloquent, he or she is very fine in the use of their language. They can use the language very effectively and they can speak very powerfully. Therefore, an eloquent speaker is a very persuasive speaker. The quality, this quality, is called eloquence. Eloquent. Soliloquy. The roots here are solo, meaning one or self, and loqui, which means to talk. Soliloquy is the act of talking to oneself, talking out aloud specifically. You might see this in scenarios where you've been in a play in a th at a theater and uh, one of the characters talks out aloud to himself. This is soliloquy. A similar word but not the same is the word monologue. Mono meaning one, log meaning speech. When one person talks or when there's just one person doing all the talking, we call this a monologue. There might be one or more people listening to him, but there's only one person contributing to this speech, only one person talking. Monologue. This is in contrast with the word dialogue, where there is more than one person giving in their opinions, pulling in their ideas and having a discussion. Dialogue. Monologue, one person. Dialogue, more than one person sharing ideas. Now we look at two words that are very similar in their meaning. Grandiloquence and magniloquence. The roots grand and magna suggest a sense of uh, greatness or to be over and above what's required. Grand, like the word grandeur, means excessive or exaggerated, to be fancy. Magna, meaning big, means to be, again, exaggerated, to be over and above the normal. Therefore, when someone is grandiloquent or magniloquent, he or she is using very bombastic language. He or she is being very exaggerated in their way of speech. Uh, they're probably using very big words or they're talking in a way that is very, very um, complex. And this in a sense where it suggests that they are doing this unnecessarily, where they could convey something simpler by using simple words, they choose to use big words and big sentences just to sound or look impressive. This is grandiloquence or magniloquence, very similar words. Colloquial. The root co uh, comes in words like co-worker, where co meaning equals. When one talks to equals, one does not use formal language. One would talk um, informally, casually. Therefore, to talk as if you're talking to equals is to be colloquial, or is to talk in a colloquial way. Colloquial, to talk among, to talk as if you're talking among equals. Or blocky. The root ob means against. Oblocky is to talk against, or in other words, to criticize someone formally or publicly. To talk against someone publicly is oblocky. Generally, oblocky is negative in that you're trying to tarnish someone's personality or you're trying to bring down their image. You're talking against them to put them down. Oblocky. Somniloquy. Do you remember the word insomnia? Have you come across it? Well, insomnia is a scenario or it's a syndrome where one is unable to fall asleep. In meaning not, som meaning sleep. Therefore, somniloquy means 
talking when one is asleep. Or in other words, it means sleep talking. Great, we've seen a bunch of words with the roots loqui or log. 